stop, drop, and hopefully you don't roll when it comes to the Alfa Romeo Tonale and Dodge Hornet being recalled here in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where you guys know I like to keep you informed. Today we need to talk about the Slantis Group recalling approximately 20,755 US market PHEVs that may have been built with a brake pedal that could invertedly disengage during braking. Well, the company is aware of 15 cases globally, including one crash, thankfully with no reported injuries. Now, affected vehicles include certain 2024 and 2025 model year Alfa Romeo Tonale PHEV SUVs, which means that some of them may have already been shipped with this issue coming for the 2025 model year. And there's also the 2024 model year Dodge Hornet PHEV SUVs, where 20,755 plug-in hybrid SUVs are affected total. Now, should anything like this happen? Well, the electronic parking brake located on the center console can be pulled up and held while driving to slow the vehicle down to a controlled stop. Now additionally, the automatic emergency braking system, unless deactivated, will interfere without further action from the driver when it detects that a collision is imminent. Now in compliance with the regulation, customers owning these Alfa Metanale PHEV and Dodge Hornet PHEV units affected by this recall will be notified by priority mail. Now the remedy, which consists of reinforcing the brake pedal, will be provided free of charge. Now what the automotive group urges is for owners to follow instructions on their recall notices and customers with additional questions or concerns are encouraged to call customer service at 1-800-853-1403 or visit mopar.com slash recalls for more information additional vehicles are affected in canada which are approximately 2280 models and mexico around 134 models and select markets outside of north america approximately 30,000. 517 models now i can update you of course if anything else happens with this recall which has affected both of these cars but keep in mind built on the same platform same factory with a lot of the same parts basically being cousins both the tonale and the hornet are being recalled and keep in mind that we only got plug-in hybrid models here in the United States. So with every plug-in hybrid being recalled, well, that basically means that most Tenali owners here in the United States should probably be on the lookout on when they can expect a call or letter from Stellantis and their dealership. Now, with that said, what do you guys think about this recall? I believe this is our third one for the Tenali and Hornet. I want to know what you guys think about this one and I want you guys to be in the know and share this one just so I can make sure I reach other Tenale owners in case those recall letters haven't gone out. But drop those comments down below what are you guys thinking about this recall and if you guys did enjoy the video today make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you guys check the links in the description if you want to help further support the channel. You guys can also check out the Rise Rise merch and subscribe or click the notification bell so you don't miss one video and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.